Good morning, everybody. I look a little trashed. Um, we got a text from our landlord this morning, or our building manager, saying that the water was going to be turned off from like 9.30 or 10 until like an hour and a half after that. And this that light looks. looks like accidental renaissance right now. I know. It's a very Caravaggio-esque with the extreme lighting. Um, anyway, so I really need to shower today and wash my hair, but I can't until after that. Womp womp. I know. Vincent brought me a coffee and a cookie in bed. I didn't want to get the cookie yet. Plus I put the space heater on at your feet so you wouldn't did. wake up cold. So nice. But now I have to get up. I gotta get Vlogmas Day 6, 7 live. Get up and at him. I know. And then I gotta eat something and then I gotta wait till the water's on again so I can actually get ready for the day. Dang it. Anyway, that's what we're doing this morning. So kind of a slow morning. Not much going on. Maybe we'll actually make it out of the house on a walk today. That would be good. I just wanted to do this intro really fast before Vincent's class, but I actually don't have a lot to say and I don't look cute. So I don't even want to be here, but I'm here because Vincent has class starting. Okay, so let me get dressed and ready and then I'm going to sit down and work. Love you, bye. Hey guys, um, Vincent is in the middle of his last lesson until after dinner. It's about 2.30. I was finally able to shower. Thank goodness. Um, this breakout's killing me. I think I'm going to go ahead and put makeup on today. I know it's like halfway through the day. And we're literally not going anywhere, but I keep picking at this, so I need to put makeup on so that I stop touching it, because I don't want it to turn into anything more than it is. I'm sure all of you can relate to that struggle. Okay, so I'm going to blow dry my hair and make myself cute, and then, I don't know what I'm going to do actually, probably play some Minecraft. I need to put laundry away. Maybe I'll do that if I'm done before Vincent's done, or I might do that later when I'm stuck being quiet again. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Some days, some days his lessons feel like no big deal. And it's just like, yeah, I got plenty of stuff to do. I'm going to be quiet anyway. And then other days it feels so hard to just not have like free reign of the house. Um, and to like not just be able to go do all the things that I want to do when I want to do them. When I just want to turn on music and like power clean even like that. It's frustrating that I can't just like do that, you know? Anyway, today's like one of those days where it feels really hard to both be working from home and to not have like any personal time or space. <laughs> ah, COVID problems, honestly. Um, it's funny because back before COVID hit in, you know, January, February, actually starting probably like last summer, Vincent was teaching full time and he had tons of group classes in the city at two different locations downtown for this company that he works for. Um, teaching group classes and then he also had tons of private lessons or he would like go meet people at coffee shops or at their apartments to like have a private lesson with them so he was gone like all day all day for a lot of days of the week before covid and you know what i complained about being lonely then too because i was working from home at the time and that was actually why i ended up getting a job at anthropology just so i wouldn't be like home alone all day it, would, it made more sense for us to be working near each other and I was able to get a job at the location near where he was working a lot. Anyway, so <laughs> it's so funny because like when we were apart a lot, it felt lonely and I ended up literally going and getting a job in the city close to him so that we could have more time together and now we have 24 seven together and it's like a whole new set of problems. It just goes to show like nothing's ever gonna be perfect and there's always gonna be challenges with every single kind of situation and um, if, if there's any of you guys out there who feel jealous that we're just together, we get to hang out at home all the time, um, don't because you know what? Sometimes it's not the best. <laughs> and sometimes I wish that it wasn't this way. Sometimes I wish, you know, I had it more however you have it. It's true. So there you go. There's my TED talk for the day. Um, I'm gonna blow dry my hair. <laughs> done i'm gonna maybe do my makeup later first let's look at what vincent got in the mail from zara yeah. okay vince got three things on black friday this is the first one this angle makes you look really big that angle's better that angle's better wow 
That, that looks, looks nice, honey. That looks nice. I, I like, like it. it a lot. So those look good, babe. Yeah, they look good. I like them. I They're just cool corduroy. I don't genres. mind an extra, an extra little bit of space around the waist and around the bum. Yeah. So I can just actually sit down without, <laughs> without feeling like I'm just going to break them. All right, we're just heading out for a quick walk. Since I was wearing my uh, tennis sweatshirt, I'm going very uh, retro with Reeboks and some long white socks. And then I have this big comfy puffer coat. Guys, I've always had the best luck with puffer coats that fit me just right and that actually last a long time from Forever 21. Just so you know, Forever 21 is my secret coat place. But they, this one has like two pockets on the inside, zip-up pockets on the outside, a removable hood. I don't know why it's so not focusing. It has a removable hood. It just like checks all the boxes. And it was only like 60 bucks maybe. I just I just love it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. Ready? Yes. You're so cute. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna get coffee and walk and talk. It. Here's the church that we live right by that I love so much. They always do cute little things in there. Wow. <laughs> Coffee. We decided we're probably gonna do pizza tonight because we have a free pizza from Domino's that we can order, right? Um, so I I just got a latte and then Tim got cafe ole, and then we decided we should probably just get pizza on our way back right now because then we don't have to leave the house again and it's really freaking cold today. I think it, the high was like 39. It's 36 and windy right now. So this is one our one and only outing for the day. Super fun. Pretty church, pretty parks, pretty boy. Pretty boy. <laughs> I am not dropping this camera again, ever again. Nope, sir. No, sir, no, sir. I give you permission. Guys, it's so cold. Yeah. It's, it's really cold. funny. Okay. Stop for a sec. What? You look like a little black cat that has white little, paws. little white paws. <laughs> I feel so like a little black cat. I'm very cat-like, guys. Oh, Vincent yeah. and I say all the time, I'm a cat and he's a dog. I'm a dog, she's a cat. I'm like a dog to the point of being annoying, and she's a cat where sometimes she's just really cuddly and some other times she's like, get away! Yeah, I'm a, little bi I'm a little bipolar and very independent, but also very needy when I choose to be, so sorry, Vince. And I'm a drama queen like you. If you, you want to insert that clip of that beagle that drops the ball from the couch, It's like you have big feelings, but most of those feelings are positive. But when they're negative, they're also big, you know. Just, the rare negative feelings are big too. Anywho, we're walking over to get pizza. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he will Got the good. It's all steamy. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> There's like so much steam coming off of it. <laughs> Should we do a grand? Pizza reveal. Are you gonna be jealous? Cause I'd be jealous if I was you. This is so we got jalapeno and bacon cheesy bread. Cause delicious. This is like our favorite. It's so good. What else did we get? We got we got literally three pizzas. We had one for free on top of our additional combo. Yeah, and then it's like that it's that deal where it's like the, you can get three things for six dollars each, and you can choose like cheesy bread or pizza or whatever. So we decided to get two pizzas from that deal. So we spent $19 at Domino's on three pizzas and a big cheesy bread. It's like three or four meals at least for us. It's like, a, that's a lot of servings of food. So here's pizza number one, ham and pineapple. I know a lot of people just went, ah! but. All you haters can just suck it because ham and pineapple is the best pizza. And we I, I love are it. united on that I, front and we choose that hill to die on. I love it and I'm part <laughs> Italian, so. We're like so gross. Okay, we also got mushroom and olive, delicious. And pineapple and bell pepper. No, not pineapple, pepperoni. <laughs> pepperoni and bell pepper, <laughs> dang. I have pineapple on the brain. Pineapple and bell pepper. Okay, oh. what do you want? Okay, do you ever get like most of the way through the day? and realize you forgot to put on deodorant. Just a sec. Vincent got me some soda. Not that I need soda. Uh, yeah, we just, we definitely just had coffee and I'm having soda. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, I'm gonna play Minecraft right now though, and I'm really excited about it. And then we'll talk in a minute. I have to go to the bathroom first, <laughs> and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you. Okay, we're back. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna play Minecraft probably the rest of the night. I just feel like I need it. This is something that me and Vincent were talking. <laughs> this is something that me and Vincent were talking about when we were out on our walk. I just like tell me if you guys are the same. I just saw. Um, I follow Zoe Laz. Um, Zoe Lazerson on Instagram. Oh my gosh, can you be serious for a minute? <laughs> he's trying to make me feel better, I know it, because he's such a nice guy. <laughs> anyway, Zoe Laz had posted like a question box asking how everyone's feeling, and then her next slide was just saying, hey, I see a lot of you are feeling like a lot of hopelessness and frustration and depression and anxiety, and then it was, and then she went on to like, um, ask some self-care questions, but um, that helps make me feel like maybe it's worth talking about on here in case any of you guys are dealing with the same thing. It has nothing to do with Vlogmas. Like Vlogmas has actually been a really good distraction for me. It's given me a lot of purpose to my days leading up to the holidays, which I already knew were gonna be kind of weird. So I'm really glad for that. Don't think that this is like exacerbating anything, but I do feel just kind of like I don't know, like I'm extra sensitive to things. Like um, every time we go out, for instance, here's an easy example. Every time we go out and we have to wear masks everywhere, um, that wasn't a big deal until it got really cold. And now every time we go out, my mask makes my glasses fog up really bad as soon as we go inside anywhere because I go from cold to warm and then my glasses are cold and then the fog sticks to my glasses. And I just like, where normally that would just be annoying, I start to like panic. Like I feel really claustrophobic when that happens. Like I just like, I can't see and I can't breathe and it's just like, oh, I like really start to feel kind of panicky. And like, I feel like that kind of stuff, just those like little annoyances are sending me into like more extreme moods than usual. And like, like Vincent is lovely and he's his normal self, but I've been finding that like too much like talking or serious conversations I'm getting really like flustered by, like I'm having a hard time focusing on what he's saying or like getting really annoyed by the talking. Like it's like I'm feeling too much and I don't know how to express it. I don't know what's going on. And, but I will say also that like, I know that my period started last week and it, I haven't been bleeding for a few days and then today I'm bleeding again and it's like my period, even like my cycle's off, like my hormones are wacky and... So I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure others of you are do, feeling the same things, like the extra stress or whatever with like COVID getting worse again um, lately that just makes things not super fun, but it's been kind of a weird trip. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm really glad for this distraction. Vlogmas has really, like I said, been so good um, for just keeping me like kind of on task every day. But I also do feel like all I want to do is escape into like Minecraft or Horizon Zero Dawn or like go play video games really. Um, even like reading books seems to be like too much for me. Scrolling on my phone, I've been simultaneously doing it more and also feeling really bad when I do it. So I'm like, I'm trying to avoid spending time there but I haven't been good at avoiding it because, you know, I need distractions, but then that's not the right kind of distraction because then I'm, like, getting into, like, the comparison, you know, negativity thing with, like, Instagram and stuff. So, anyway, if any of you guys are feeling the same way I am, um, let's commiserate together, but also know that you are not alone and we'll get through it. It's just a weird season. I just, Christmas 2020 was never going to be magical for me. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely not turning out magical, but... That being said, we do have some fun stuff planned for the rest of Vlogmas and I am excited for that and I just felt like I needed to acknowledge my feelings, let you know why the last couple days of Vlogmas have been shorter and like less going on because there's just been less going on for me too. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm, I'm literally going to play Minecraft for the rest of the night. Vince is playing a little bit right now. He has a film and conversation class tonight, so he has to like make sure to watch um, the movies that they talk about before you know, his class every time. So he's finishing the movie that he needs to talk about tonight right now. So there you go. I'm gonna drink the soda. I'm gonna feel happy. I already had three cookies today. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, and yeah, love you guys. Okay, bye. Talk to you later. Okay, we're
right, everybody. Laundry is put away. Minecraft has been played. I found bees and I bred them and they were cute. You moved <laughs> from turtle to bees. I know. I have an addiction. It's fine. Everything is cute. But it's a problem when they make everything cute. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and now it is time for bed. My arm's getting tired. Oh, I can't do this. I'm like holding the camera directly by my head. Um, fun fact, in case you're wondering, this is what I do with my hair the same day that I blow dry it. I just put it up into like a ballerina bun at the top of my head and it kind of loosens up overnight. And then I blow dry, blow dry out the kinks the next day and it still looks like fresh clean hair. It's the best. Even though my bangs look really weird right now. That's fine. All right. See you guys tomorrow. In a cabin out